Today is February the 20th, 2016. My name is Tanya Fincham, along with Alex Bishop. We're with Oklahoma State University, and today we are in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, to speak with Wavell Ashbourne. Did I say that right? Ashbaugh? Ashbaugh. Mm -hmm. Yes. And this is part of our Oklahoma 100 Year Life, so thank you for talking with us. Okay. Let's start with having you tell us when and where you were born. Okay. July 8, 1910, Tulsa, Oklahoma. In a hospital or at home? At home. Was a doctor present? Yes. I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> and did you have brothers and sisters? Yes, I have. I have one brother and one sister. They're younger than I am. So you were the oldest? Yes. Were you the boss? <laughs> well, yes. Somebody had to be. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what did your parents do for a living? My parents were divorced when I was eight years old. And, uh, so I lived with my mother. She did what mothers do. And eventually I had a stepfather, and they did different jobs. And you want to know what my father did? Mm -hmm. He was a businessman. I don't really know. We did dealt with land. Land? Land. Mm -hmm. For the American Indian, so we have to do a lot, learn a lot about land and who takes it, who took it from us, or who got it back. So he he, he was interested in that. Okay, of course. Of course. <laughs> what what Indian tribe? Creek. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. And full blooded? Yes. Hmm. And then how did they get to Oklahoma? Well, they were born here. Okay. I see that I read someplace that uh, grandparents, great grandparents, that the uh, Creek tribe came as a tribe from Georgia. Okay. But I don't know how long ago that was. But I didn't. My family didn't tell me, but I read that recently in the history. So, uh, obviously, it, they came as a group. So, what was your maiden name? Davis. Davis. Okay. D A V I S. Okay. And you lived with your mother? Yes. Uh -huh. And where did you go to school? I went to school, uh, Catholic schools. I went to until the third grade. I went to um, Sacred Heart Academy in Tulsa, and then in uh, high school, in college, I went to Rana Casina. Okay, another Catholic school. Okay, and did you live there? I did for a while. I was in the fifth grade, probably till the eight, something like that, okay. And I, I lived there. Well, what was that like? Wonderful. But you know, uh, I'm well behaved. I didn't mind keeping our <laughs> rules. <laughs> it was nice, yes. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have it any way other way now. Uh, well, then where did you graduate from there? When twelfth, I, twelfth grade was from there. Yes, Monte uh, Casino. What? And I, there was a driver. Me, this is I'm grown. This is maybe five years ago. So I'm gonna learn to drive. And I got in the car, and the teacher was there, and he said to me. Why don't you start? I said, because I see some people there. 
up there, and he said, that's three blocks away. <laughs> he said, I don't think you're going to have a, a problem with that if you're going to worry about the people. The car is three blocks away, but we'll, t we'll teach you to drive <laughs> anyway. I said, I he said, you want to start? I said, no, there's people up there. I'm still scared. <laughs> I still don't drive, and I don't want to know how. <laughs> well, when you first started to work, how would you get from home to work? The Tussle have a... Fortunately, I was close enough to walk. Oh, okay. And if not, I went on the bus. And if it was rainy or stormy, then I called a cab. Yeah. Tulsa had cabs back in those days? Well... They called them taxis. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think. And they had street cars. Yeah. And they also have street cars? Yes. Hmm. I forget. I forgot how long. I rode on the street cars. And I could see my now. But I wasn't very old. So I think the track is still there, but I, but I don't, I, I didn't pay when I got on, so when they took me, so I guess the last time I remember, okay. So when did you get married? When did I, what was it? 1940. 1940? 1940. So you would have been about 30? Yes. You waited a little long. Yeah, yes, okay, yeah. <laughs> well, how did you meet your husband? You see, well, first of all, him, I saw him in church. And then I saw him going to church, and then I saw him. He plays, uh, he played piano in the different clubs. And when I went to clubs, I I met him then, because he, he had little bands in different clubs at Tulsa. And, and what was his name? Marvin Ashball. Yeah, Mark. You see, there. Yeah. Good picture. <laughs> yeah. Well, he played, he was well known, because he worked different clubs. And they used the name Marvin Ash, professional name. So he has records and things like that. Use Marvin Ash. I'll have to check into that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, what would you do for a date? What a date? Mm -hmm. Dance. I'm a dancer. <laughs> what kind of dance? Ballroom. Oh, pretty. Yeah. Well, Classic. That's, a, that's what those cups are. <laughs> for. Yeah. I still love to dance. How did you learn? I just danced always, I guess. I did I didn't I didn't take lessons. Probably from your mother, yeah. From your mother? She yeah. said maybe your mother? Yeah. My whole family danced, don't we? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we so you just start dancing when you're little. I think my father and my were separated, and my father came to visit once, and I uh, was very young, and I got up to go change the record on the Victrola. And as I walked there, he's, he was visiting us, and he, and he said to my mother, where did she learn to dance? My mother said, she's not dancing, that's the way she walks. <laughs> She walks to music. <laughs> so he never let me forget there. He said, Where did you learn that? She got that. That's the way she walks. <laughs> you had rhythm. Yeah. I love music. I love music. I'm, I'm a musician. <laughs> well, how did he ask you to marry him? Like, well, 
I don't know how to how you answer that. <laughs> he just popped the question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, I don't remember why. I, 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 I went with him for maybe a year or so, and, I, and so I knew that he, his band, played around the different clubs here in Tulsa. Are we still in Tulsa? Yes. <laughs> but now, but you're getting ready to move to California, remember? Yeah. yeah. So that was in the early 40s. Did he have to go to war? Yes. Uh -huh. He had to serve? Yeah, yes. But uh, I'm trying to think. I'm, yeah. That's when you moved to California. Yes. Okay. So you moved to California in the 40s? Yes. Was my 40s? Yeah. I have, I don't know if you have nieces, but if you don't have, you better get some. <laughs> because that's how I live. <laughs> I would warn you, you may do all right now, but when you get older, you have to have nieces. Okay. <laughs> I'll work on that. See, look at them. <laughs> They're suffering with me. Everybody <laughs> did, did you ever have any children of your own? No. No? Well, what did you do in California? Oh, a secretary, an executive secretary. Well, I'm a secretary. You start out as a stenographer, and then you go up. But I've worked 30 years. As a secretary? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. In California? In California. Always California? That yeah, part yeah, in California. Yeah. You've lived most of your life in California? After 40s? Yes. Oh, well, yeah. why, when, when did you come back to Oklahoma? Last year. When did I come? In October. Uh, yeah, uh, last year. Yeah. So, mostly in California. Mostly in California, yeah, yes. Did they call you Oki? Yes. I call myself Oki. I mm -hmm. like it. <laughs> Did you like it in the 40s? Yes. I'm full blood American Indian. I like Oklahoma. I liked it. I didn't live here. It was Indian territory, but it was Indian territory. So I'm proud of it. <laughs> proud to be an Oki from? Yeah, yes. Not from Muskogee, but? Tulsa. I was born in Tulsa. Yes. Oh, no. Do you like that? Yeah. You think it's 11th Street now? Mm -hmm. Oil was, Road is now 11th Street. It was called the Oil Road. <laughs> that, that's the name of the highway. Was, where do you live? On the Oil Road. Mm -hmm. That was that's what everybody it, every town and well, they knew the oil road. And was it paved or dirt? Dirt. Dirt. Well not dirt and not paved. Gravel? Yeah. Tar. Tar. Tar? Yeah. Okay. Black top. How how old was she when you she retired? How old were you when you retired? I really retired in <laughs> 96. 96. You were 96? Uh-huh. What were you doing at the time? Working. Secretary. Secretary. Yes, or different jobs. Mm -hmm. The last job I was on was being on money. for 20 years. 20 years, yeah. Just never wanted to quit. Yeah, yeah. No, I liked it. Mm -hmm. Tell her about your lifestyle with Uncle Ash. Oh yeah, my uh, my uh, late husband was a professional musician, a fine fine piano player, and had orchestras. Like so, we were. I was from from then on around music which I love at, at, all, at, at all times. And he would be on different shows. His picture's up there now. And so, 
And, and where did he work? Where he worked, he worked for the Disney. He was staff pianist for Disney. That must have been exciting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But pretty much, but the, the, he worked, he was a staff musician, and then he worked work at night. But he wrote music too, so he worked day and night. It's nice, yes. What kind of music? Huh? What kind of music? What kind of music? Jazz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you had a piano in your house? Well, I used to have, yes. Uh, not, that, not that we needed it. Nobody ever practiced. They, musicians don't practice. Well, we had a piano because if you, you did compose, then you needed it. But, some, but they don't, professional musicians don't practice. But he did compose some things, and then, and then you would need it. Well, did you meet Walt Disney? Oh, yes. Did you? Walt Disney and, uh, and my late husband looked something alike. Pretty, pretty much alike. Any other famous people yes. that you met? Did I meet famous people? Mm -hmm. Anyone else? I, I suppose so. I, I, I thought my husband was pretty famous. Yes. yes. How about the Mouseketeers? Oh yeah, he was a he was the uh, technical about uh, uh, the the Mouseketeers. That was his group. So did you meet any of the Mouseketeers? Yeah, I met all of them, but I remember in, I went to all their performances. If he if, if he went and was home. I'm trying to think who's who was the girl the number one Annette Annette yeah yeah I remember her I don't know what happened <laughs> Annette Fulincello or something like yeah, that yeah, yeah. yeah yeah okay. So All right. He died in 1974. Yeah. He passed away in early in 1970s. Yes. And then what did you do after that? Did you? No, I mean, what did I do? That's when you started ballroom dancing for competition. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I started dancing in seven. I started dancing for competition in the 70s. How old was I? Oh, 64. <laughs> 64, 65. <laughs> okay. For competition? Yes. And did you win? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Many times. At ballroom. Who was your partner? Different ones. Whoever trained, whoever I trained. <laughs> <laughs> well, usually there was. Ferdy was one. Ferdy was one, but he didn't really compete yeah, with yeah. you. He was more just your fella. Yeah. But you did have a partner that your regular partner. Yes. The one that I don't remember his name. Yeah. But he was the one that really taught you more about dancing, competitive yes. dancing. Because I didn't, I could dance, but I didn't know about competitions. I didn't know, but some of the time when I was in a competition, it was better that way. <laughs> I remember once we were dancing, dancing, people kept dis couples disappearing off the floor, off the floor. And we were the only ones that we stood in front of the orchestra. What is this? He said, we won. <laughs> oh. Why did we? Do, why did we do it? Because we're the best dancers. <laughs> and the people were because I didn't know I was in a competition <laughs> or care. <laughs> you like to dance? I try. I'm not very good. Do you have a favorite kind? Just ballroom. But 
The tango oh, or two? Oh, I like. What? Like. What? Tango. And fox trot is okay, but I really, uh, I think, I think waltz is the prettiest dance in all uh, of all. And you have to have pretty dresses for that. Oh yes. Well, do you watch Dancing with the Stars? Oh, you gotta know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All my family and friends say, "Remember, most of us are gonna be on tonight." See this. <laughs> And then we call and say, what did you say on my car? They tell me, who's a good cu couple? Who's the one to watch? <laughs> no, we're all family and we're all dancers. We dance. You are too. <laughs> you may be an in-law, but you're a dancer. She's not an in-law. Yes, okay. <laughs> Can you dance? No. <laughs> <laughs> you better learn. <laughs> I need a good instructor. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think you I know. found one. Yeah. You know why she walks so well for her age? Do you dance? I, I tried to do the clogging. Country. It's country. I listen. She's the dancer. I, can you clog? Mm -hmm. She can clog. No, I can't do that. I. I'd like to see you do it sometime. Do you do it professionally? Not professionally. Do you do it for parties sometime? When nobody's looking. Oh. <laughs> what about square dancing? Huh? I grew up in East Tennessee, so it was square dancing or clogging. Yeah, okay. I run it. Oh, I'd like to see that. <laughs> That's hard. Yeah, it, it burns some energy. Yeah, uh huh? It's not pretty, though, like waltzing. No. Well, boy, that one is hard to do. Watson would be too, yeah. if you have no rhythm. Yeah. <laughs> Watson is beautiful. It's graceful. It is very graceful. That's what I like the part of my... Okay. Now, did I answer all my questions well? Yes, well, but we're not done. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Did you ever think you would make it to 100? No, of course not. I'm still not, I'm, I'm still amazed. I wonder why people say to me, how did you do it? I, I don't know, I put one foot in front of the other. Yes. That's how it got here. <laughs> I have, uh, who is this, 96, honey? What, honey? My grandmother was 96. My grandmother, 96, yes. Mm -hmm. so your mother was 93. Yeah. So you got some genetics. Yes, uh -huh. And dancing. Yeah, dancing. They all dance. We, we don't walk, we dance. So that's exercise and genetics. How about diet? Diet? Mm -hmm. I, just, I just like healthy food and I don't eat very much. I can't speak for all of my family. <laughs> who who eats what they want when they want it? Don't fill her plate up or she will Who Whom I love, whom I, hey, whom I love very much. Yes. <laughs> okay. Lots of fruits and vegetables or? Yeah. Fried chicken too, though. Yeah, fried chicken always. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. What did you do to celebrate when you turned 100? Did they have a party? We had a party. Mm -hmm. We made out a party. party. Yeah. They came to see you from California. No, well, that was when yeah. you were 105. When you were 100, you came here. Yeah. When you were 100, you came back to Tulsa. Yes. And we had a party. <laughs> A hundred years old. When you were a hundred, you came to Tulsa. We went to the Perryman Ranch. Yeah. We went down downtown and we saw where the Perrymans are buried in the graveyard. I'm a hundred and five. I know. That was back in a hundred. Then a hundred and five, we went and saw you in California. Wow. What are we going to do for a hundred and six? Yeah, well, what do you have planned for your hundred and sixth? <laughs> to make it. <laughs> Let's go to Paris. 
I'm pushing. <laughs> <laughs> she asked, uh, asked my daughter the other day, she said, what do you think we'll be doing five years from now? And my daughter said, I don't know, you're a hundred. You'll be 110, but go for it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, what's on your bucket list? What do you want to do? Just be happy. Be happy. I want the people that I love to get what they want and to be happy. Because to have that around you and to love and be good to each other, and we are. So. What more can you have? Be content. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh. We're all content, yes. Oh. What's your secret to longevity? I'll tell you what I tell everybody. I just put one foot in front of the other and keep moving. You just keep moving. And attitude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and a positive attitude. Yeah. I don't, I don't, uh, well, I might say, I just, I naturally like healthy food. I've always liked, I don't eat a lot. Well, at, at a hundred. That's not for the whole family. <laughs> at a hundred and five. <laughs> At, at 105, what's a typical day like for you? Day life? What's a typical day like? Oh, now? Mm -hmm. Oh. I, I get up, I just have to get up and, and go to breakfast, look at the paper, and then, the, and then decide, then the phone free, and some of my nieces or family are going to be coming by, or we're going to do something. Very, what uh, there's something that could be going on. Well, what will you do in your free time? Read. Read? Uh -huh. A favorite author? No, I don't have a favorite author. I, but I like to read uh, historical romances. I like, I prefer the biographies so much. Read someone and learn something while I'm doing it. Yeah. Harper Lee. <laughs> it really he's, he's pointing to your Harper Lee. Yeah, yeah. To kill a mockingbird. Or the yeah. ghost set of okay. witch watchman. Yeah, I'm reading that. Yeah. That's good. That ghost set of watchman. That's good. You read you. You read a lot. I never have enough time. <laughs> That's an excuse. <laughs> I won't buy that. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> try again. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, what time do you go to bed? I have probably about 10 o'clock. Yeah. Not before, unless I've had a Busy, busy day. If I go see, about ten o'clock. How do you keep up with current events? Newspaper or TV? I or read the paper from cover to cover. I, I watch the news, but not as much as I read the paper. Okay, and then I have, I have nieces that are up on everything. <laughs> And I better be able to discuss it every day. When you think about something, I can say, what's that? <laughs> I think that might be your secret. Yes. You, you keep your mind busy. Oh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> yeah. You're doing great, I think. Thank you. <laughs> All right. What's the biggest change in Tulsa? I mean, you, since you left in 40 and came back in... 2014, yeah. 15. What was the biggest change? Well, actually, I'm out moving around, so I can't see that. What's the biggest change? I've said this before, and I will repeat it. 
with my contact. We had more time for each other and we were closer. The people don't have here or any place don't have time now or take the time to spend time to talk. Everybody because everything's moving so fast you have to move to go with it. But I liked the feeling of having a close close family, close friends. Tulsa are wherever you are. But Tulsa is was my mother ever was born here, my grandmother, great grandmother and so Tulsa is home. Is, is home. Some of that would occur on the front porch. Yes, all right, yeah. And there's not too many front porch sitting too much no. nowadays. Well, but the porch that we had, and I went halfway around the house. We saw a house the other day, and I pointed it out to that. That's the way it used to be. It was a porch, but with a roof. And a swing, on the front porch is swing. <laughs> he always had that. So, so the evening he went out there on the swing, we had a nice evening. Good old days. Yeah, good old days, yeah. <laughs> it's good days now, honey. Every, everything's very good. Oh, oh, everything's really wonderful. When I, seems to be because we have more uh, can realize more what we want in our life. We have more help. If we want to do things, we have all kinds of help. We have money, we have schools, we have teachers. And if you want to achieve something, you can do that. You can work at it. Could have said it better myself. Yeah, yeah, yes, I did. You're a good role model. Thank you. Okay. Well, when history is written, what do you want it to say about you? How do you want to be remembered? How I want to be remembered the way I live. That I care about people, and I care about God. What I do, I try to. I did it good, and I and I care about people, and, and I love my family very much. And, that's, and I, I, I would like to see each one of them be happy. If it could, and see if they could get what they want, if it's not too much. <laughs> <laughs> you, you said God was church, a, a very important part in your life. What? Go, church and going to Mass. Yes, and, uh, yeah. I don't go to Mass every Sunday, but I am a Catholic. I'm not a practicing one, but I am a, uh, a Catholic. Was it important when you were growing up? Very. I was in school there. <laughs> And that's where I was in the fifth grade when I was baptized. That was my doing. My sister wasn't my, my mother didn't care. It was after I'd been there for a little while and I decided that's what I wanted to be. I did a good job, that's what I wanted. Well, I'm gonna back up, but I have a question that's been bothering me. You said you went to boarding school Right, you, you you essentially went to boarding school with the Benedictines. Yeah, I went, I went to boarding school, but the school was also had day pupils. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But by the casino, it was called Sacred Heart then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Though I lived there, there wasn't very many on it, but two or three girls that lived there. Well, what was the discipline like? Very strict. Very strict. Fortunately, 
I am very good. I was very good. <laughs> but my sister wasn't. <laughs> I am very good. I good. If you told me what I should to sit there every day, I would do to do that. Besides that, I like to be the the, 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 the nuns. I Did wouldn't. I wouldn't do anything that would hurt them. Or, and I always had a favorite nun. You know, when that favorite nun was like school, you have a teacher that you really love. Do you remember her name? Sister Frances. Because one, one my niece wanted to cousin my, my, uh, Bad influence cousin. <laughs> she was eighty months older than me, and we both went to school. But she, she got me to run away, and she told me, "Sister Frances hit you." I said, "No, nobody hit me." She said, "Yes, I saw her." She said, "When we were standing in line today, I saw her." She said, "Get in line." That's what she did, but my sister said, she hit you, so we're going to run away. We did, because I read whatever she told me. She explained to me, she hit you. She was mean to you. She hit me. You, you st when they go in today, you stay and sit on the curb, because we're going to run away. <laughs> we did, because she knew how to do it. And so we ran, she ran away, she had a stepfather, uh, whose ex-stepfather, that he drove a taxi, and she knew where to get him. And she said, we'll get him, and he'll take us around. So we did, and he took us to dinner, right around, and I don't know where it was going to take us, wherever she said to go. So after we had dinner, and he drove us around, the car went out and stopped right at your school. He took my hand and he took us to the living room and the nuns were standing. We were so surprised to I didn't do it. So, oh, he said, they, I kept them all, I kept her all day because they wanted to go someplace and I knew I'd bring them back tonight. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, it was, that, so I was raised very strict. And the nuns were very understanding compared to my mother, who is very, very, very strict. <laughs> so, no, I had a good schooling. I was happy. I am happy. Thank you. <laughs> you, you're right. He's getting bored. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It pretty soon he'll be doing his foot like this. I think he's wanting to go waltzing with you. He's, he wants to waltz around the room with you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Anything Did else you want to tell us? No. Anything else we need to ask? Have I told everything? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Did I miss anything? Not much. Not much. Now, did I miss anything? Not much. Well, when your niece was born, do you remember when your niece was born? What's he going to do? She, he, he said, do you remember when your niece was born? Oh, yes. <laughs> the doctor handed me this baby, he put it in my hands and said, here's your baby. And my sister's sitting there looking real pleased with herself. He said, he, it's her. He said, here's your baby. And she's my baby. She smiled like my baby. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Always will be. Did, and she did, was. did you get to name her? Yes. Oh, yeah, oh. of course. <laughs> She's my baby. <laughs> it's Nanette Therese. And my brother, my sister looked very pleased, like, 
off the ball, most like. You, she, here's your baby, my sister looks like. You could have her. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her what they did when, when she yeah. married. No. She saw I, she's the only like, that he said I have. So she was my baby and is my baby. What happened when it came time to take the baby back? Oh, that's, I hate to think of that, because my mother and I had her, took care of her, because my, my, my sister was divorced then yeah, and running around, and so my, my, we took care of the baby. And then my sister decided to get married, and we had, I had it a year or two years, I don't know, like, and she came, my sister, came to take her baby. Huh. Her baby, I cried and screamed up and down. And she, 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 I said to my mother, they're taking my baby. Mama said, it's not your baby. It's not your baby. My sister's married and going to take her child. I, I, I had it's cried, 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 cried. It was my baby. <laughs> said, no, it's not your baby. It's my baby. Because after all, I, she said, slept with me. I took her to my baby. See, see how she turned out, how sweet she turned out? <laughs> It's, it's because I hugged her. She could sleep with me and I could hug her. Okay. And did you teach her how to dance? Yes. Well, yes, from day one. Well, did she walk, dance when she walked? Oh, like you? I, when I walked her, I danced with her. Mm -hmm. She could dance. They could all dance. They better dance. <laughs> If I find anybody in the family can't dance, they're in deep trouble. <laughs> well, when was the last time you danced? Oh, about a month ago. About a month ago, she said, yes, okay. Oh. But not like I used to as a little stiff now. I am a dancer. But about a month ago, and I can still dance, but not. Not very much. Can't do the tango. Yeah. Uh, I might do about three steps if the if 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 the partner knew what he was doing. <laughs> about the cha cha. <laughs> oh yeah. I sure loves the cha cha. The cha cha. Can you do the cha cha? I can do the cha cha. Could now. you could you stand I'm up not and going do? To, but I can. Could you stand up and do a few cha cha steps? No. Oh, oh, come on. on. <laughs> We can make we can make room and turn the camera that way. <laughs> and we will remember when we went to the yeah. Mexican restaurant and we started out, and they were playing the cha cha music out of Abuelos, no, what is it, Los Cabos, mm -hmm. and Aunt Way was walking there just a little bit ahead of me, and I looked and she had those hips moving. <laughs> cha cha cha. <laughs> That's I have a, have a dancer. Oh, yeah, I dance very good now. Well, you may dance just a little bit for us in a minute, but not right now, okay? Okay. Uh, All right. I, I, I don't know if I'm dancing today. <laughs> All right. Uh, am I dancing today? If you feel like it. Uh, okay. All right. Well, we'll we'll just close here then, and thank you for talking with us. Okay. You've been great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>